और आपके पास जो चिराजित से भी है आज वो दिल का टुकड़ा वापस मेरे दिल के साथ जुड़ गया है Driving from Bhind back to Gwalior, where Jyotiraditya Sindhya has done about six meetings and counting, you are quite a stage performer, I must say. I saw your meeting. You are rousing the crowd. Is this the new Jyotiraditya Sindhya, the rabble rouser? No, it's not a question of rabble rouser, Rajdeep. It's uh, I have an emotional bond with the people of this region. I have a bond that is based on trust, foremost, a bond that is based on development and progress. And I have a bond that is based on truth, and that's the truth that I'm bringing out, which is the reality today. What Madhya Pradesh was prior to 2003, and what Madhya Pradesh is today. You know, the one thing that I I sense is that this election is different from you for you. It's an acid test, many believe. You have to prove yourself both to the BJP which you've joined and to your old friends in the Congress. I don't, I don't have to. It's not a question of proving myself to anyone. No, but you I still have to prove yourself to your two parties, right? Yeah, go ahead. I enjoy working in that manner. I enjoy working at the grassroots. That has always been me. You know, the reason I said this is an acid test is because, let's be honest, five years ago you were in these very parts campaigning for the Congress, and then you bring down a government in 2020. So the Congress made the charge that Jyotiraditya Sindhya is a gaddar. He defected and broke our government. So you've got to prove it to them that you're not a gaddar, and you've got to prove to the BJP that you are a mass leader. No, 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 no. That has already been proven. 2018, an area that has never delivered more than 17 or 18 seats for the Congress, delivered 26 seats for the Congress in the 2018 election. Then in 2022, you had a series of by-elections. 28 seats went in for by-elections. Of them, 27 were held by the Congress, which means basically 98% of the seats. Yes. Of the 28, the Congress could only hold on to 9. 19 went to the BJP. If the people had trust in the Congress, that scenario would not have happened in 2020. But that's a by-election. Now this is a full-fledged election, election and you've got your supporters contesting on BJP tickets. Is, doesn't that make a difference? First of all, it is not about Rajdeep supporters versus Mr. Sindhya supporters. Mm -hmm. Everyone is an ordinary worker of the BJP. There is no concept of X supporters or Y supporters. I am a worker of the BJP and so everyone is a worker of the BJP. A. B. I am very confident that in this election, voting day on 17th of November, counting day on 3rd of December, you will see Poon Bahumat Ki Sarkar of the BJP emerge in Madhya Pradesh. It's interesting you're saying that because most opinion polls are saying it's a tough fight. Some are even giving it to the Congress, talking of Parivartan. You're saying the BJP will win easily. Is this Jyotiraditya Sindhya simply uh, hoping for the best? Uh, 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 because according to Kamal Nath, when I interviewed him, he said one of the reasons why he believes Congress is winning because Congress wants to teach the betrayers a lesson, the gaddars a lesson. This is the, this is the problem with the thinking of the Congress. The Congress wants to teach. He says the people want to teach. No, no, so the Congress wants to teach. No, you said first time you said the right yes. thing. If that were the case, why is it that everyone except six won the by-elections? All of them won. What happened to Mr. Kamal Nath then? And I'm telling you now this again. I'm repeating it on your show. On the 3rd of December, the truth will be out. The BJP will form the government in Madhya Pradesh with a majority. Now, don't ask me how many seats because I'm not a Jyotish. But I have never commented on the number of seats. But I'm telling you that we will cross the magic 116 mark. So you don't accept these opinion polls that say Kate ki takkar, Congress ahead. But, 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 no, first of all, 
let me again say every election is a kaanti ki takkar if you think that an election is not a kaanti takkar then you are set for your downfall i believe that the election is a kaanti ka takkar for me 2018 was a kaanti ka takkar for me every election is a kaanti takkar you can never take an election lightly if you let down your guard you're done in your speech i found you were focusing on kamal nath and to some extent on digvijay singh without naming him uh, of course referring to him as banta dhar my sense is that you still hold kamal nath and digvijay singh responsible for your ouster from the from from the congress there's still a sense of bitterness is he still the enemy you only targeted them not the gandhi family or other leaders of the congress first of all i have bitterness towards no one and i'm telling you that from the bottom of my heart i meet the rajesh sir all the time in parliament we cross each other on the corridor i wish him all the time i have no bitterness but you were attacking kamal nath repeatedly in your speech here because i will attack failures i will attack policies none of my attacks are personal but if you run a government which which is corruption driven rife rife with corruption a government that backstabs the people of madhya pradesh i will attack you i was in gwalior today and opinion was divided some see what you did absolutely right others say it was pure opportunism on your part how do you respond to that is this a tag that you'll have to live with i i respond to that in only one way see the development in gwalior in this last 3 years the projects that gwalior has had the pro- the way gwalior is growing could never have been possible with this past government in its and the 15 year 15 month tenure showed that is that the reason why you really switched you believe that you can only do development if you are in government I, I, and you chose the to I, join the bjp because you wanted I, to be with the government at the center no 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 not at all i was very clear in my mind there were two prominent factors one was the dynamic leadership of prime minister modi and the way he has charge the country forward not taken the country forward but charge it forward second i was completely disillusioned with this government a government that we brought for change a government that we brought that will hasten the development process was completely bent on profiteering itself was backstabbing people left right and center and when i raise an issue then you challenge me if you challenge me and be prepared for the consequences you know it's interesting you're saying dynamic leadership of mr modi there will be those your critics who will put all your sound bites about mr modi when you were in the congress and say look at uh, how jyotiraditya sindhya has switched sides he's going with the rising sun but there are there are there are times your course correcting is when it? an institution goes through decay nothing is permanent in life rajdeep did you get mr modi wrong i certainly think i did you got him wrong you, you earlier yes i think i did i the most important part of any organization is to be able to attract talent retain talent and cultivate talent the congress can do none of the above anymore i didn't see you mention rahul gandhi or target the gandhi family at all the only time which you did in your speech today was when you mentioned mohat mohabbat ki dukaan and said actually they are nafrat ka saman uh, you know somewhere you, you see that, that was a direct jibe at rahul gandhi such you have such a contradiction with people saying ki hum sanatan dharm ko nasht karna chahte hain and they are completely quiet on that a party that talks about the rights of obc rights of obc rights of obc when the topic comes up and rajdeep sir they say ask me what do you think about akhilesh अखिलेश अखिलेश मेरी बात मत बात करो दिस इज द वे दिस इज द रिगार्ड यू हैव फॉर एन ओबीसी लीडर गुड बैड और अगली अखिलेश यादव इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट ओबीसी लीडर्स इन द कंट्री मे बी माई ऑपोजिशन बट आई रिस्पेक्ट हिम दैट इज वॉट पॉलिटिक्स इज अबाउट you are talking about the breakdown in the congress samajwadi party alliance in madhya pradesh but i i, I want to understand I from you make the point okay. that i am not talking about the breakdown of the alliance in madhya pradesh okay. i am talking about the breakdown of the congress party how what is the big difference therefore that you see between prime minister modi and rahul gandhi between the congress and the bjp between your past and the present the first difference you are working in a system that believes in meritocracy and can i just stop you for a moment because there will be those who will say you're talking of meritocracy you're a dynast if rahul gandhi is a dynast so is jyotiraditya sindhya that's not the point if your father is in politics you have every right to be in politics 
वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ परिवारवाद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ परिवारवाद इज वेन वन फैमिली कैप्चर्स द राइट फॉर एनी वन टू बी एबल टू चार्ट द फ्यूचर ऑफ दैट पोलिटिकल पार्टी इट इज गॉट नथिंग टू डू विथ my father my grandmother being in politics and my father being an mp and post my father me being an mp it's got nothing to do with that in an electoral system everyone has a right to contest it is only about the capturing of an organization for one particular family when you were in your past you would call him communal you would call the bjp's hindutva communal is all that forgotten did you get that wrong Uh, how do you respond to those who will say that you know jyotir aditya sindhi as i said is simply you know shifted his ideology to be on the right side so of power you could have said the right side of power if i had shifted to become chief minister here it's not that i was not a minister before so how do you see this whole hindutva politics as far as the politics are concerned this is not hindutva politics it is about the, making sure that india rises on the global stage you mentioned briefly chief ministership is that still a goal i'll tell you something very interesting that a congress uh, middle level leader told me he said this was the election where jyotiraditya sindhya could have been our face and if congress had won in madhya pradesh he would be chief minister he's missed the boat how many states have you heard this refrain from in the congress party but but I, this I, is a isn't this a valid no, point no, you were no, you were being not, encouraged by the congress not, you became a minister in your not, 30s you were given every opportunity this could have been your election to be chief minister party But you could I have been chief minister. I've given twenty years of my life to the Congress Party. Sure, you have. This is the problem with the Congress Party and the likes of interviews like you. Mm -hmm. You always look at what the party has given. Don't forget, it's the ordinary worker that makes the party. The I want to know: Have you missed? Have you missed? No, no. I am okay. I bat always on the front foot. I bat on the front front foot. Right now, you're too close to your wicket, and it'll be a hit wicket. Let me tell you. Okay, good one. You're heading down. You're heading. That's a good one. But but can I ask you this? Do you so, think so, that you will so, be chief minister so in a BJP no, government, which you could have in a Congress psychology. government? Psychology, and this is the difference between the Congress and the BJP. Mm -hmm. The BJP, it is the worker that makes the party. In the Congress, it is what the Congress doles out to you. You know, uh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya. What is very interesting, you know, in in Madhya Pradesh, as I travel, there's talk of parivartan, but there's also talk of ladli bana and various schemes that are being done by the Madhya Pradesh government that put cash in hand. some say these cash in hand schemes are pure bribery of the voter ahead of an election they don't really lead to development what's your view since you just mentioned that your commitment is to development do you believe ladli bana putting 1250 rupees in someone's pocket is actually development or is it revdi how do you respond Think about it whether it's pradhan mantri kisan samman nidhi whether it is ladli bana yojana who are you bringing to the forefront you are bringing those people to the forefront in this country that have for decades been at the periphery who gets pm kisan samman nidhi your simant krishak your marginal farmer your farmer who does not even have two bigas of land who gets 1250 the ladli behna who today at home has no source of income i have just two small final questions one is What is the biggest change in the Jyotiraditya Sindhya I see in 2023 from the Jyotiraditya Sindhya of 2018? There, I saw you all over the posters with uh, uh, with Kamal Nath ji and Digvijay Singh ji. Now you all are in a collective leadership. There's no certainty whether Shivraj Singh Chauhan will be the chief minister of the BJP wins. That's one part of it. Uh, is he is he going to be the chief minister? It is collective leadership in Madhya Pradesh, and it is collective leadership always within the BJP. Minimum 70 percent. at the minimum and i would go up to 80 to 90% of the credit of transforming madhya pradesh goes only to one person and that person is shivraj singh chauhan one of the questions about the shivraj singh government that keeps coming up in madhya pradesh is fatigue factor 20 years in power there's a sense that corruption has grown there's a sense that it's the same mama ji people want change how do you respond that people want parivartan this is what kamal nath told me also that people want change this is people versus bjp this time the congress campaign when i used to go to campaign you had a difficult time controlling people why there was no bijli there was no sadak there was no pani that was an anti incumbency government when the congress party was completely wiped out we had 37 seats out of 
you've been here with me for the last minimum two hours. Have you experienced anything called anti-incumbency here? But a sense of fatigue, a sense that people say, yaar, badlaav chahiye, I've heard, in Madhya Pradesh, I've heard those voices. 18, 20 years, a party has been in government. Some of those voices you will hear. Mm. But that's not an anti-incumbency. In fact, I will go so far to venture that in Madhya Pradesh, it's a pro-incumbency. Level of quality of roads, from 44,000 kilometers of roads, today in Madhya Pradesh, you have 5 lakh kilometers of roads. That's a 11 multiple. Power, 5,160 megawatts of power. Today you have 29,000 megawatts of power. That's a 5.5 multiple. Irrigation, 7.69 lakh hectares of land irrigated. Today, 49 lakh hectares of land irrigated. Seven multiple. Doctors, 7,510 in 2010. Today, 51,000 doctors. Yet huge, unemployment, yet huge unemployment, 38 lakh people unemployed, just 21 have got employment on the government service, patwaris, uh, huge corruption. Something must be, you know, even in 2018, it was a very razor thin uh, uh, fight which the Congress won. If all was so good, unlike in Gujarat, here you have a real tough fight. Per capita income, 11,000 rupees, today 1 lakh 40,000 rupees, 14 time multiple. Okay. Now, as an outsider, you can always see a glass is half full or a glass is half empty. Okay. What is the biggest difference in Jyotiraditya Sindhya 2018 to 2023? How have you changed? I can't, I can't comment on that, Raj. No, you must have changed. A lot of articles say you become more accessible to workers. The Maharaj is moving out, meeting people on a daily basis. I, I, that's not for me to say because... I, I, that is for people like yourself, whether you're a well-wisher or a commentator, that is for you all to say. And there may be some positive things and there may be some not so positive things. And it is for me to internalize the not so positive things constructively and continue on that path of change. Life is all about always trying to better yourself. The positive I see you in, in you is you're working harder than ever before at this election. Our, our, that's the sense one gets. Is that right? You've been in Madhya Pradesh, in Gwalior, virtually for the last couple of months, doing these sort of rallies every day. Are you working harder? Does the BJP make you work harder than the Congress ever did? Suddenly. Oh, no, no two ways about it. There's just, it's, it's no comparison. It's chalk and cheese. There's a structure. There's a schedule. There's, there's a system. There's an SOP for, the, for things that you and I understand. There's an SOP. You're enjoying it? Oh, I'm loving it because that's... that's You're not tired, background. fatigued. That's my background. I, I was a professional before I got into politics and you know that. Yes. I went to institutions where there were systems in place. This is the system in which I thrive because when there is a structure, then according to the structure, one knows that if you work like this and there is head, you make headway, that is recognized. You're not under pressure from Amit Shah and, and Narendra Modi to deliver on a daily basis? Not, to course, deliver Gwalior Chambal? No, no, of course there's pressure. And there should be pressure. Because it is when there is pressure that people deliver. And I'm telling you, you, you take my example, I'm giving you my own example. You remove pressure from me and I won't be able to deliver. I only deliver to you under pressure. So I love pressure. Okay, you're, I thrive under pressure. This is a bit like Virat Kohli on the cricket field. A googly final question, you know, and you like, I'm sure, cricket. Uh, some of your critics, including in your old party, say that Jyotiraditya Sindhya did this because uh, revolted from us because he was not assured of a Rajya Sabha seat and he was not assured of a bungalow. That you had lost the 2019 Lok Sabha and you were going to lose your bungalow and that's why to return to that for ministerial benefit you came back. Problem, Rajdeep, is you never get your facts right. Yes. I was already living in a rented house for two years. But you'd lost the 2019 that's election. That's why I'm saying I was already living in the rented house. Yeah, so you wanted your bungalow happy. back. No, I was very happy living in a rented house. You didn't want, it wasn't I about a bungalow. No, I had no qualms about it. You've known my family long enough. Do you think our life is about a bungalow? Do you really think that? I leave it to your conscience to answer. One very final, final question since we're heading back to Gwalior and this is your sort of home turf. Our show is called Elections on My Plate just want to know, evening, what is the best thing that I should be eating in Gwalior, the must eat? Before I leave Gwalior, what's that thing that I must be eating? In the day I had laddus. 
what should i be eating in the evening you must you must go to the bada and in the bada are whole row of dukans of namkeen of chila uh, it is out of this world and you must go and see the bada is i mean you know what bada is being a maharashtrian it is our central square and we've done a complete renovation and restoration of that bada and at night it looks like it looks like heaven on earth so you must go and experience the bada and you must go and try all our eats of chila paratha all of that in our bada okay you know i thought that mr sindhya was going to invite us to the palace and say i'm going to throw I your to I, i'm going to throw your royal buffet i would love to but only if you are ready to wait till 12 p 12 am at in the, in the morning is, because is that, i'm not going to be i'm not going to be back home before that is that the kind of punishing schedule that you put start off at at, at early morning and finish at midnight yeah okay. uh, midnight i finish in terms of i finish in terms of the daily schedule but then it, you switch on to the phone and find out what's going on in every other every other part of the state so i end up sleeping by about 2 am okay so and in the congress days probably mr sindhya had the luxury of of finishing early in bjp times midnight at the very least we will we'll, we'll do the royal buffet on another day when you if you win the elections we can do a we will we'll, we'll, we'll do a small celebration no no either way okay you're welcome you're welcome in in my in my humble abode anytime it's not so humble but we we'll, you know he he's being very very generous with us uh thank you very much at, you, yeah, you thank you very much jyotiraditya i want to say this at the end uh, you know i spent a lot of time with your late father and i had a lot of regard and respect for him so interviewing you i feel old in a way because i remember this was 30 years ago and i can also tell you that uh, mother rao ji was a better cricketer than jyotiraditya is no doubt about it okay good we we've, we've accepted that but we've enjoyed this conversation with jyotiraditya sindhya uh, on the road from bhin to gwalior and i must mention this uh, that the roads are much better this used to take me a couple of hours 20 years ago and the gaddhas are gone so you can take i don't know who can be given credit for that we'll give both the congress and the bjp government can we do that or shivraj singh you're not going to give the center any credit manmohan singh's government and modi's government no, for roads no no because this is our this is our state road okay we will we'll, we'll accept that that state roads have certainly improved in madhya pradesh uh, whether other things have improved or not is a big question mark corruption is a is a huge question mark and that we we'll leave for uh, perhaps shivraj singh chauhan to answer but uh, jyotiraditya sindhya for taking the time out thank you very much pleasure as always